Hello, and welcome to the Heat Software short video series. My name is Renee Gonzalez, and I'm joined by my colleague, Bao Tran. And today, we're going to cover remote control capabilities in Heat Land Rev. So, Bao, when I'm talking to customers, some of the challenges that they, they come to me with is, how can I make my help desk staff uh, more efficient when troubleshooting on problems on PCs and Mac? because a lot of them have remote control capabilities, uh, but what if they need more than that? Mm -hmm. Does Lamrev have any tools to help the help desk staff be more efficient? Sure, absolutely. Let me show you some of them here. So unlike a lot of other products, Lamrev actually has a whole host of remote management commands here that lets you reach out to a client device, make changes to it, receive immediate feedback. For example, uh, some of the more popular ones, execute script that lets you run a script on a client device. You know, if it happens to be a PC, it's gonna be a batch file, but if it's a Mac, it's gonna be a shell script or an Apple script, and you get immediate feedback. What were the results of that shell script execution? And you'll see the results in a little command window, just like you would if you were sitting in front of the actual device itself. Another popular one has to do with view text file. And what this lets you do is it actually lets you view uh, the logs on the client device. So if it's a Mac, it's gonna be the console log or something like that. If it's a PC, you know, you're going to see the Windows event logs instead, like the system or the application event log. And it's got a one second update interval here, so very handy. And it's got an auto filter option right here. And so that'll allow you to basically find the particular error messages that you're looking for when you're troubleshooting a particular issue on a client device. There's lots of other commands in here that are great for, you know, terminating processes, you know, uh, running files on the client device those kinds of things, but when it comes down to it, if you can't fix the user's issues using one of these remote management commands, and the nice thing about these remote management commands is that they are one to many, which means you can target you know, one device, but you can also target 10, you can target 100. It's really up to you how many devices you need to make these changes to. But if those don't do what you need them to, then of course you can certainly resort to the remote control. Um, we don't like to recommend that unless you can't resolve it using one of the other tools in the commands menu, because once you're actually remote controlling an end user's device, they're not using it anymore. So that's a loss in productivity that we'd like to avoid, right? The rest of the commands, you can remotely troubleshoot end user's devices silently without them actually knowing, right? And you can fix their issue. But again, if you need to remote control, just right click a client device, and there you go. You're going to end up remote controlling it. It's the same thing. It's over the shoulder remote control. So you're seeing what the user sees. If there's an issue they need to demonstrate to you, they can show it to you right there. Okay, great. That concludes today's session and we look forward to you joining us in future sessions.